Hi there, so in this video we are going to see how to connect to MySQL database and display table result. So we are going to connect to a specific database and from its table we are going to select that data and display it on console. So for Go language we have Go MySQL driver hosted on this GitHub page. Okay and you can access that using github.com then slash go dash sql dash driver slash mysql okay if you scroll to the bottom of this page you will find installation instruction for this you have to type this command go then get and then this address which is same as the one in your url this will download the github repository on your go path and it will install that package and you'll be able to use that for accessing mysql database now in my case i have this myphp database inside which i have two tables one is game data and another is my user so i'm going to access this game data table and it has multiple entries total six that I want to access now open your text editor in my case I'm using Visual Studio code and this sample.co file is created in it you can name your file anything else if you want next thing I want to create this statement package main then I'm going to create main function inside which I'm going to first come up with statement saying go mysql driver and here select query results okay now after that I'm going to create two variables one is database and second is error now here I'm going to call for sql dot open method and here we are going to mention which database that is in case my sql is the one you're using then i'm going to type in username make sure that it's in double quote then root and then colon and then password in my case it's demo one two three four then add the rate then call for tcp then you have this bracket inside which you're going to type in IP address 127.0.0 and then 1.3.3.0.6. This is the address through which we are going to access our MySQL server. Then you have to use slash and then database name. In my case, it's MyPHP. In your case, it could be different. Then we have our error not equals to nil then you have to use panic and tell it to just display your error dot error okay and it will import two packages one is format and second is database sql now what we're going to do is once connected i want to take one row at a time so we have to use one variable rows and then again our error variable here I want to use my database connection and call for query okay so here the query is going to be select then star operator from and then game data is the database here okay so you have to use that next thing we have to use one function let's name it check error and pass error to it okay and at the end of this code i'm going to define this check error function or method okay now let's go through each row using for loop then use rows dot next that means we are iterating through 
each row okay then we use variable uid which is going to be integer and that's going to be our first column then we are going to use username which is going to be string which is going to be second column then score as integer as our third column then error equals to roads dot scan and here you have to pass your uid then you have to pass username and the third is score okay just in case if it throws any error and then again we will call our check error and pass the current set of error that we just collected in earlier statement okay so the next thing would be to naturally print out our uid okay then we will also use fmt println username okay so fmt println and then a score so we're going to print out id username and score and at the end of this for loop i'm going to use a differ then i'm going to call for database dot close method which will close database connection now outside this main function i'm going to create a new function which is named as check error which will take error and from our interface error okay and here i'm going to check whether error is not equal to nil then simply inside that if i'm going to call for panic and then pass it error so it will print out that error on screen okay now one more important thing at the top you will find is it automatically imports database sql and format but for this example we are making use of our go sql driver for mysql so use one underscore and then within double quotes i want you to type in github.com then slash then go sql driver mysql if you are using visual studio code or visual studio then you will be able to do this with intellisense otherwise you have to type this out on notepad plus plus or any other id okay now uh, once you have gone through all of this i'm hoping that everything is properly set up let's go to terminal let me increase the height okay now here i'm going to type in go then here use run okay so go run and then name of your file and then dot go hit enter it will take few seconds if you have antivirus enabled then it may cause issues and it will show all those pop-ups and warnings in that case and after that it will show your console this set of results as you can see it has total six results along with our top statement for select query result so here are your six results from database on console so this was a short example on how to fetch data from your mysql database table using go programming language